<laughs> dilly dilly booger. Um, hello, Chris Cuts and Guitars. Hello, E Dollar. Hmm. E Dollar playing, you get it and get it quick. Hello, Eric. Hello, MJ Bots chasing dragons at Klondike Bar. I think I'd rather have the RV and then the Klondike Bar. Hello, Mark F. Hello, Art W. Hello, Patriot Hero. <laughs> yeah, right. I hope there's good rumors if there's little no. Yeah, no, that, I mean, all, all the above. How do you put that one? Hello, Marlo. Hello, Take Back America. Treat, Beard, Mouse, Mitts. Hello, Shiny. Well, Zavala broke up with Booger, and that's why he's lonely. That checks out. Poor guy. Hello, RV Flyer. Hello, Gary and Eddie in South Carolina. <clears throat> Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Greg. Look at me coming in early. Mama called for dinner. Woohoo! Let's wrap it quick so Greg can get to dinner. Hello, Mr. Parker. Let's see, even to Mark from the Dominican Republic, where I'm celebrating my birthday. Please give me a currency revaluation. Happy birthday, Chris. Let's see. Russia announced H. Brandon's company in Ukraine is partly responsible for the attack on. Okay, H. Brandon. Hunter, wait. Hmm. I assume you mean Hunter Biden's company in Ukraine is partly responsible for the attack on Russia a couple weeks ago. Hello, Ivan. Yeah, most people don't realize that the Biden still have business interests in the Ukraine. A glamper queen. I like that high all staying grounded while looking at beach houses to keep my vibration up. I like it. Dink. Whatever I can get my hands on. Arturo Fuente. Cohibas. You pick it. Hello, Kukla. I'm glad it's been a great day for you. It's been a good day, just a very, very busy one. Now I need to see this. Benny Johnson interviewed with Alex Jones. That would be a good one. Uh, I tell you, Benny has made a whew, phenomenal job doing uh, shorts and pointing out some of the insanity. Hello, Lord. They announced Hunter Biden tied to terrorist attacks in Ukraine. Hmm. I'm going to have to see some of this. I have not seen that yet. Uh, Michelle, personally, I like bubblegum cigars. I miss those as a kid. Weren't they great? I have not heard anything about Michael Jaco being arrested. I did check on Mike Penny uh, today. I had a couple of you guys email me worried because you hadn't heard anything from him. Uh, let me tell you, let me go back in here, make certain I get this completely 100% right. Said, yes, all good. Quietly going through some stuff to improve heart function, health, etc. He's been taking care of his own health. Good for him. I want to buy you a great watch. All right. Looking for something self-winding. Who's not a Rolex fan? My favorite is just the black and stainless Submariner, but that's an expensive one. But it is definitely on my post-RV list. Putin's enacted a financial probe because he has proof Biden has money to Hunter Biden company, then bought weapons and used them against Russia. Ooh, this is getting good. Ooh, this is getting good. Ah, oh, thank you, Kukla. I am glad you said that. Let's do it. Just like groceries, gas, and food, your energy bills are expected to keep hitting record highs over the coming months, too. Yet the greedy power companies show no signs of lowering costs. That's why I've been using this magical little device that I love. Thanks to it, I'm able to slash my power bills, beat the greedy utility companies, and keep more money in pocket every month. Use this link in my description below. Get 65% off plus several bonuses with every order completely for free with many other free bonuses before they sell out by going to don'twastepower.com. That is don'twastepower.com. Link in the description, don'twastepower.com. In case you're just not into links. I'm in the link. Saves typing. Joe, I'm with you. Kevin says Russian disinformation. It could be. And we keep finding that 
much of their information is dead on. Just like we were told it was Russian disinformation about the bio labs in the Ukraine and then Victoria Newland outed the secret. We said we did not have bases, CIA bases, uh, along the Ukrainian-Russian um, border. And then we find out we do indeed have eight. Russia keeps telling us. We keep saying, oh, disinformation, disinformation. Oh, Russian collusion, Russian propaganda. And then we find out it's true from inside of our own country. So you know, I don't know how to take that one. Do I trust uh, Russia? Do I trust uh, Putin? No, definitely not. But Tell you what, he's been more honest than our own president and our own intelligence agencies. And if that doesn't scare you, you're asleep at the wheel. I mean, like big time living in ostrich la la land, if that doesn't scare you. Uh, so it hasn't worked for you. It's, it's, it, I think at the older the house, when it doesn't have a solid ground, I think the more it does. At least that's, what I've noticed. Well, Barisma was never anything more than a front anyway, so that's possible. Uh, Mother Eagle, we've done that a bunch over the last two or three years. I'll try to squeeze it in sometime in the next week or two. Not touching it tonight. Let's see. I saw some, uh, Joseph, I don't know where you saw those articles. There are a bunch of videos that show you how to prove to make certain yours are real uh, on YouTube. Just check them out. Let's see. How about the piece on the way to see? All right. No idea what you're talking about, Jules Bells. That's one I can't decipher. Checking on Log Cabin Person to see what he said. He got cut off. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to take the Zim rate because it probably doesn't apply to ours, but Zim is gaining on the U.S. dollar with the introduction of the Zig. They're having some uh, logistical problems getting the exchange done, but it is interesting. All right, I see it's 708. Trying to keep up with what you guys say. Hey, Sheila, you guys are ready for Sheila. I'll reach out to her this evening, see if we can get her in in the next two days or so. <laughs> Michelle, that's too funny. Yeah, middle of aware in a record show that a Russian mayor's wife gave Hunter Biden a few million. Yeah, five million if you're looking for the exact figure from a Russian oligarch to Hunter Biden uh, in his firm, Seneca, etc. Um, yeah. We can't find where the Russians gave Trump money, but we can find where Russians gave Bunt Hunt the Bidens money. As a 2008 uncirculated uh, we do Sloan Trucking very much believe that those will be good ones. Uh, we've also got reports of a number of banks in Canada. Let me make certain I get this one right. Hold on here. I got to find it. Got to find it. Where are? Oh, there it is. Looks like. TD Bank, TD Bank. Well, here, I'll just let you see. Our ATMs are getting a makeover. They're doing some serious work in Canada. TD Bank, here's updating or upgrading ATMs. Uh, Penny, watching the show from this morning. Replay, glad to see others alarmed every time we hear the name Jamie Dimon. We know he was back. I'm wondering if they're almost trying to set him up as the new good guy. Kind of like they do with Taylor Swift or whoever's handy at the time to try to turn them into their savior of the world. Uh, I have not heard anything about Dong being tranched. I've heard you have to have spent like 
Did you spend $100,000 buying your currency? If you didn't, I'm told you don't have to worry about being tranched. Uh, Jipper said, my TD Bank in South Carolina got a fancy new T ATM a couple months ago. Reading a few of these, I know I need to dive in. Isn't that a great question, Sergio? Mark Z, how about you guys? What do you think of this one? Do you think the feds will hide all the videotapes they took from all of P. Diddy's houses to protect certain high-profile individuals? Similar, Sergio, to what many believe happened with the Epstein uh, tapes, files, CDs that were collected in his New York home. Uh, and we assume from testimony from a number of people that he had similar structures or similar infrastructure for filming in Little St. James. So where did the tapes go? They have them. Where did they go? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, they will. Yeah, I do wonder what Jamie saw for the sudden change or what appears to be a change of heart. All right, let's get up to it. Mostly a nothing burger for the news, guys. Very, very, very quiet on the RV front as far as Iraq, bonds, banks, redemption. I'm talking dead silence today. Uh, well, I do have one Iraqi contact that says we are within a day or two. I think he is premature, but he is convinced, and he is in the sandbox, and he's convinced we are within a day or two, and it's this week. I think he's premature. I'm going to watch it, keep listening, see if I get something that makes me feel a little more warm and fuzzy about it. Uh, but he does work within the Iraqi government, so he may know a whole lot more than I know. And I'm hoping he does because I'm ready for it to be done. Now, let's get to Zimbabwe because we do have some interesting stuff on that front this evening. Traders dump the Zim dollar. We're talking about the currency that they were using up through Sunday, the new launch of the new Zig today. It appears that there are a lot of problems they're refusing. It's causing what could be three, four, even a week worth of headaches. Nobody wants to touch the old Zim currency. They all want the new Zig currency. So it is uh, coming at a not a one-to-one -one split in the market. It's supposed to be a one-to-one -one split at the banks. A lot of Zimbabweans don't use the bank. They only use cash. This is part of their problems with changing their structures. They need to get people to adopt regular banking to make it easier. Uh, there is some pushback by the working class that can't afford to have enough money to have deposits in banks. Uh, so it is causing some logistical issues. But on the positive side, Zimbabwe's new zig currency strengthens on second day of trading, uh, gained 0.2%. Overnight to 13.53 uh, Zimbabwe to each US dollar. So it is gaining strength and it should being asset backed. So that's a positive form. Logistically, it's understandable. They're having a tough time. This one would have been a very difficult one for anybody to get the logistics right because of the lack of trust that the average person in Zimbabwe has for the banking institutions as they've watched their currencies uh, go through record inflation for years after year after year. So they just don't trust leaving in the bank. Inflation will eat it while it's there. Totally understandable why they're having some of these logistical issues. Positive side, their, diff their changes are making a huge difference already. U.S. dollar is doomed. Americans praise Zimbabwe for launching new gold-backed currency, Zig. All right, do not read too much into this. Of course, it is in the Herrera, uh, a African, uh, what would you call it, publication. They're talking about Americans on social media praising it and saying, hey, gold-backed, uh, too bad the U.S. isn't type of thing. New currency supported precious metals, foreign currencies, gold, etc. Americans in the world praise the Zig. When it says we praise the Zig, guys, these are people on social media saying, heck yeah, we're excited. Most of it's going to be us going, yep, this is it. We're seeing the world go to uh, gold. But I do find it interesting that in Africa, they are using that as high praise for the change. And I'll agree, it needs high praise. Is the U.S. dollar zoomed? Doomed without a change. It is absolutely doomed, in my opinion. And 
I'm not the only one that thinks that way. I mean, hell, heck, even Jamie Dimon thinks that way now. Jim Rickards, myself, uh, Polzar. I, we can go on and on and on and on with the number of world economists and uh, market makers that believe the U.S. dollar is doomed long term without massive change. All right, guys, these are some interesting ones coming at you. Costco is selling up to 200 million in gold bars each month. They're guessing. Costco has not released it. The guesses are somewhere between 100 million and 200 million. And it's not just gold. They're also selling tubes of silver rounds, um, 25 in a tube. Despite robust online driven sales, pricing at the level and shipping costs suggest it's a very low profit business at best, but they are filling it. <clears throat> selling it, meaning they're just selling a bunch, may not be a huge profit margin, but at those levels, man, if you're making 1%, you are doing it. I mean, that's extra free money. Isn't this interesting? It's making epic times. Not one of our PJ Media's zero hedges, one of the larger ones here, and I think this is interesting. They estimated the firm's revenue for gold may now be running 100 million to 200 million per month, reported C N. The, the major U.S. bank did not provide an estimate of Costco's silver sales yet either. Gets into what they're offering. Um, oh, wait a minute. However, Kelly suggested there are limitations. The store gets a low premium on gold bars and further offers 2% cash back for executive members and other 2% of people who use their Citigroup cards, he noted. All right, so that'll tell you what the markup is. Um, you got at least 4% built in. Give you an idea. There's a decent spread there. Reading a few of these, and I'm going to keep going. Uh, Susan, our Zim is very different. What's going on in Zimbabwe now does not affect our Zim anyway negatively, as I understand it, has been recently explained to me. Now, on to what else we have affecting our markets. The oil market gets extremely tight in the second half, Citadel says. So according to Citadel, we are going to see an extremely tight as OPEC is not ramping up production. Things are squeezing. Uh, things are building. They're looking for oil over $100 a barrel. We're already hitting 90. We're seeing a six-month high at the pumps as we speak in the U.S. Expected to continue to rise going into the summer season. Crude futures top 90 bucks last uh, week per barrel. First time since October. Uh, when they dumped the SPR to try to reduce the cost going into, uh, well, you know what happened, guys. I don't need to uh, rehash any of that good stuff. For Actually, that was a year before uh, that they did that. All right, so uh, I was uh, incorrect there, but they are looking at over $100 a barrel. Now, why is this a good thing? Iraq. What have they told us all along with their valuations? Back when they were pricing it at $35, $40 a barrel. Now we're looking at 100. So it is a massive change in what they can value that, what they can purchase it back at with higher oil, uh, our, eh, higher per barrel uh, dollar cost. Boy, I'm having the time. Tongue tied this evening. You get what I'm trying to say, though. It is extremely good for us in valuations. Very difficult for us at the pump if we do not get across the finish line, though. All right. <clears throat> Let's leave that behind that part behind. All right, a lot of people wigged out. Why did you say it might be a pre, pre that premature fishing today? Uh, because if you were joining us this morning, you would have heard what I am hearing from the bond front. Most of us during the fifteenth and twenty second. So to me, it makes more sense to go uh, somewhere in that period or very very close to the end of that period. Uh, but I've got a, a couple of Iraqi sources. One that I consider a great source, I believe we're within a day or two. And I just think it's premature personally because I haven't seen enough movement in historic bonds. I haven't seen any chatter from my CMKX or my farm claims yet either to give me a warm and fuzzy. That's why I think it could be premature. All right, Frank 26 says the 10th. Well, that would fit with, that would very much fit with my Iraqi contact. and. Frank does have some very good contacts in Iraq and Iraqi banks. Uh, let's see. Gentel or Jen with Mike Barris says the 11th. Mm. All right. 
I might be. I might be too conservative. I could be. Could be. I hope I'm wrong. I'm looking forward to being wrong. Uh, absolutely, the Zig could be a test run for Dinar. Could be the test run for Goldback. Period. Absolutely, could be uh, GA. And Lumbago, yeah, bond info could absolutely be a dodge because we've always been told that it comes first uh, and there's a timeline and a process. Could they have changed it up to uh, slide it in here and surprise us? Yeah, sure, they could have. It's ripping past. Uh, Surfer, like you've always said, Mark, they're going to cloud this to the end. And they're going to cloud it, especially as we get closer to the end, Surfer, especially. Looking forward to you breaking off that surfboard and coming down here and uh, <clears throat> checking out the waves. It is ripping. Brenda, I appreciate that one. Hawk, I think it'll go by the end of the month. I've said that, what, two out of the last four months, though. So it, would that could that bite me in the butt? Sure. But, man, does it look good and feel good right now. Uh, Jeff, it should absolutely be okay. Boy, it's tough time keeping, keeping up with you guys. Uh, loving like my birthday is April 30th, so any time between now and then will be fantastic. Amen. Uh, Punta Cana is in Dominican Republic. I'm in Puerto Rico, so eh, not too far. What, 140 miles away? On the other, you know, just a short jump over some water. Fishing today, you're very, very, very welcome for that explanation. And I did not recognize, I don't, don't remember seeing you in chat this morning, so I felt like I owed you to explain it. Tina, look, there are a lot of people that only follow small pieces and parts of this. They agree that there's going to be a value change. They agree on a lot of the big things, but a lot of the in between stuff, they don't agree. We had somebody else comment. They think Iraq is going solo. It's a possibility. I think it's a very, very, very small and slim one. But you prepare for those possibilities. You make the best of it. Let's just say they're right. And there's no thing, such thing as Nasera or it's not going to happen yet. We're going to have a lot of dollars and we can make our own Nasera happen. We're going to get through it just fine. All right, let me hit a few more. Concerning pieces in my book, first, German troops arrive in Lithuania for permanent deployment. Uh, Lithuania, one of the spate of countries or gaggles of countries that joined uh, NATO in, what, 2004, I think it was, during the last expansion. And we're going to get into that because this is important. They are going to put, they're right on the border of Russia. They're going to put a, about 5,000 troops when they finish over the next, I believe it's three years, permanent base, right on Russia's border. If I were Russia, I would be upset about this very much so. That would be like China and North, uh, and North Korea putting a base in, you know, Tijuana, Mexico, or maybe up Niagara Falls. Canada, right across the border. This would be very concerning to me if I were Russian. Very, very. Uh, and they're basing this going to be their first permanent, permanent outside the country long term bases. Not where they've had people out, they've rotated. You know, they're there for a six month deployment, et cetera. Now, this is permanent where they're looking at 30% of the forces bringing their family, their kids, a base, base housing, et cetera. This is a major expansion for Germany and a major expansion for NATO. Now, why is this um, interesting with that expansion? Do you guys remember the condition of NATO, late 90s, early 2000s? They were dead. NATO was done. It was pretty much mothballed. They didn't mean anything. Bush Jr. resuscitated them put a breath of new life into them so that they could go into Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, resurrected NATO, which was toast. It was done. There was no need for it. Do you remember the Democrat pushback against uh, resurrecting NATO? They were screaming left and right, doesn't need to happen. Warmongers, 
NATO doesn't need to be a thing. They were screaming. They were losing their minds over the recreation, or should I say the strengthening, the rejuvenation of NATO. Now, oh, my God, if you touch NATO, you're going to upset every Democrat out there. What's wrong with you? NATO's everything. These are the same people that 20 years ago were saying, no, 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 we've got to kill it. Don't ever let this thing happen. All they're trying to do is justify a military industrial machine. Oh, wow. Boy, have things changed in 20 years. They have really changed. Now, we're the ones going, does NATO make sense? <laughs> D. Rambo. I'm sorry. I saw some of that funny. <laughs> Koopy, now that you can get yourself down to the beach, there's no excuse for not rocking the main bikini. I don't want to scare you guys. Anthony, boy, I tell you, it's been really, 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 really good of late, Anthony. Let me uh, let me think of the best way to talk you off that cliff. Did you see what was going on in Zimbabwe with the Zig, gold back currency? Um, the number of bank changes. I'm trying to think of all the positive things I can throw at you. Top of my head, you're just catching me a little unprepared. Oh, it's been an awesome week. Uh, the bond chatter with appointments between the 15th and the 22nd. Um, group leaders been rushing. We've had a signatory. One of the biggest signatories for the banking families has been, has refused to leave the um, Southern California, uh, Nevada, um, Reno, Vegas area, staying between those. So it's a short trip uh, where he has to do his job as a signatory for a majority of the Chinese families. Uh, so we've got a lot of key people that are in the perfect spot uh, in preparation in hopes for, for release. I'm trying to think of what I can tell you without getting myself in trouble. I'm just reading a few of those. Uh, be back with you guys. All right, let's get to it. We talked about the German troops. We've got another uh, number of other things. Secretive experiment to shoot aerosols into the sky over San Francisco to increase cloud cover. Details of the project kept hidden to avoid public backlash. Of course, this one. Uh, they're shooting from, I don't know if it's a decommissioned ship or whatever. Uh, it's a solar geoengineering experiment in San Francisco. It could lead to brighter clouds that reflect sunlight. The risks are numerous, according to Scientific America. Uh, the experiment is taking place when conditions permit atop the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum in Almeida, California, and will run through the end of May. According to a weather modification form, the team filed with federal regulators. Yeah, they're basically shooting a, a mist of sea salt, et cetera, into the atmosphere in hopes that it will be uh, highly reflective. We're not going to get into everything we, we else we have found as they have done chemical analysis. Seems to be there's a lot of other things going in there, too, but they're claiming they're just shooting seawater up there to create a mist to reflect more heat. Anybody? I mean, this just screams like unintended consequences. But hey, look, they're admitting the geoengineering to plane farts. <laughs> Joe, every time we think we are close, instead of buying roller coaster tickets, I order more currency. My wife fails to see the humor. <laughs> Carolyn Bryce incalculable risk. We have a number of scientists that are part of our community too. And uh, they will sound off in my email on this one. Uh, oh, I nearly forgot. It is 7.30. Guys, I forgot you. If you got the computer handy, I will send you the link. All right. I almost did, so I'm glad you called. Bye. All right, one or two more articles, and I got to get a link to Greg. Matter of fact, let me get that link to him right now. Um, he's going to join for uh, about 15 minutes or so here at the end. I need about five more minutes for news stories, and then we'll get to them.
I know I'm going a little bit slow here. Boy, was I not prepared for that one. All right, I'm doing this thing. Sorry about the quiet, guys. Trying to uh, multitask. Not the uh, not as talented as some. Um... All right. Now I can get back to you and finish those. I'm going to miss whatever you guys type during that time period. All right. Geoengineering is real. Cloud farts are real. Aerosols into the sky. Government's now admitting it and saying, hey, look, it's just an experiment. Trump responds to Lindsey Graham's criticism, criticism of his abortion announcement. He basically announced that, hey, this really needs to be up to individual states, just like the Constitution says, the Supreme Court says. That is not making Lindsey Graham and some happy. I want to know you guys' take. This is one where I, with some discomfort, have to agree with Trump, as much as I would like for it to end, I think it would kill election uh, potential or greatly hurt it right now. Uh, the law is pretty clear. It's it's a state's rights issue until they codify, but them trying to codify it before will keep them from having an opportunity to get enough of a majority in the House and the Senate to even make it a potential. So they're shooting themselves in the foot. Um, I think Trump's taking the right approach for now, I uh, don't. I do not believe it's the ideal way, but I think it's the best way right now. So I think it should be left to the states, be done with it, run with it, because that's exactly what our constitution says. If it wasn't expressly expressly giving it, <laughs> I hear you, surfer. If it wasn't expressly given to the federal government, then it means it belongs to the states. It's called the 10th Amendment. It's very important. We cannot cope. Police in Scotland deluged with politicized hate crime reports. I don't know if you knew this, guys. It's a new thing now. If you say something about LGBTQ or whatever, it's considered a uh, hate crime. Well, now they can report you. So if you ever said anything ill uh, and you have a pissed off transvestite, they can go after you or just a pissed off LGBTQ person in general. Oh, yeah. It can go as high as life in prison. They can come into your home. They can check your devices. Pure, pure crazy. Less than 1% have uh, so far are even getting looked into. It is overwhelmed. They now no longer will come to your house if you get robbed, if there's a break-in. But they will come to your house and check it out if somebody believed, if you, somebody said something ill. Like, man, that dress just doesn't fit. You need some new heels with that. They doesn't match. Oop, that's a hate crime. Yeah, World Economic Forum orders governments to declare martial law due to imminent bird flu pandemic about to sweep the globe. Okay, I fact-checked it, too. Uh, it was in the people's voice, but I have been covering stories on this for about two weeks. And they are. It looks like the new fear is going to be bird flu pandemic. They're saying it could be massively more dangerous than COVID. At least 50% of the people that get it are going to die. Just so you guys know what to prepare for next. It appears bird flu won the bingo. Uh, exclusive CDC hid finding, uh, finding a possible link between COVID vaccines and tinnitus. That ringing in the ear. So many people are having it. Yeah, I really want to go deeper on this one, but I'm uh, a little squeezed on time. Bird, bird, right, Vicky? When does the female baby get their rights? When does the male baby get its rights? When does the transvestite baby get its rights? I mean, if that's what it takes, maybe that's what we should say. Yeah, I'm reading these. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one right there. Uh, yes. Anyways, it appears that the uh, CDC knew that there was a link, had already flagged it, and uh, they came out and said no. They got new information saying yes, and then they have not shared it or updated. They tried to bury it. But there appears to be a very real link between tinnitus and the lollipops. 
I'll leave that one there. It'll be in tonight, today's links. Okay, guys, let me uh, go ahead and get. Oh, yep. Uh, Jules Bells, I am going to send it to Dr. Scott Young. We're going to bring in the man, the myth, the illustrious Greg. Hello, Hello, Mark. How are you? Man, I'm good. How are you doing? Fantastic. Now I'm going to get busy here and find uh, the website, so I'll be ready for you. Oh, you may have to help me, though. All right, Walter's, Walter's Best Health. Walter'sBest.com. Ah, that's easy. Walter'sBestChoice.com. That's it. BestChoice.com. Thank you. Now we got it. Now I'm ready for you whenever you're ready. Hey, I appreciate it. Um, th- this is a pleasure that you've uh, let me come on and, and be able to see you and not just hear you. So that's quite quite a great thing. Uh Hey, I want to tell you too, Mark. We we it's amazing, but I think we did this show. The first one we did is now right at the first of the year, and mm. we've had enough time to where we've started seeing some uh, good replies from our customers. Okay, pictures, um, you know that's after ninety days is when there's some pretty amazing results. So. Keep that coming. We'd love to talk to the customers that have been using the product and, and just uh, very thankful to have these new people uh, from from you, know, you allowing us to come on the show. Let, let me let me just give you a, a minute or two or five uh, about what makes this thing so unique. And, and, and you know, sometimes uh, some great things happen that you don't really intend to happen, but they do. And sometimes that's true with in the drug business. And Mark, as you know, I've been uh, developing pharmaceutical drugs for about 30 years. Um, I'm going to leave it at 30, even though I started trying to do it way before 30 years ago. But my first drug started hitting the market about 30 mm-hmm. years ago. And so um, one thing that can happen sometimes are bad side effects, which you never want that to happen. And unfortunately... Uh, we have never had bad side effects or any kind of issues with that with sure. the drugs we've developed. But every once in a while, you can have a really good side effect. Uh, and and so uh, what what happened was uh, the NIH did a big study uh, after we developed a drug that lowers the production of proteases mm-hmm. in the, in the the body. And so we used it for chronic wounds, and it's a dramatic drug for chronic wounds. Um, however, they came with a study that showed not only does it do that and a few other things in the body in different disease states, but that it actually was the culprit in the dermis for causing people to deplete the collagen from the skin. So therefore, as skin... Uh, as the collagen level or the plumpness, we'll call it, uh, is depleted, um, it causes lines and wrinkles because 90% of the skin, of course, is made of the dermis. Um, and when that when that body of the of the skin or the uh, elasticity um, of that skin starts depleting, you know, the collagen base, that's when we start seeing lines and wrinkles. And so we did a study back 10 years ago where we took 50, uh, 60 year old women and on half of the face, we put just an excellent uh, moisturizer. On the other half, we put our drug and the moisturizer. And within seven weeks, there was a dramatic reduction in lines and wrinkles. Now, so what does that tell us? It tells us that the body that God made for us is an amazing thing. Number one, anytime we can reduce the negative, which in this case is the proteases that, that will gobble up that collagen. Anytime that happens, the body starts regenerating or in other words, the body wants to heal. So Mark, that makes it just really interesting because as we reduce those proteases that are running around in the dermis doing negative things, the positive 
of the collagen starts reforming and regenerating. And actually, when that happens, from the inside out, you'll see that the lines and wrinkles just start disappearing. And it's because that formation of the collagen to push that skin back to a very smooth and level basis will, will give you a reduction in um, lines and wrinkles. So, Mark, the, we're, we're the only company that have taken the clinical time to be able to make the claim that says we reduce the effects of aging in the skin. Now, that that's pretty strong. And uh, mm -hmm. if we, we can't make you younger. We can't say that we make you younger. Every day, unfortunately, Mark, we all get a day older. And, and boy, that takes over time. You know, it takes a toll on many things, including our skin, including the way we start looking aged. Uh, but what we can say with this technology is we will be we will change the effects of aging in the skin. So, oh, so. no, yeah, yeah, I've started finally getting some uh, reports. I'm hoping some people will send me if they've done it before and after pictures, so I can uh, track it better for you guys. Now, with Walter down and out, you guys are handling everything. I mean, you're handling from uh, collection collection to mailing to all that stuff, right? We are. Uh, okay. Number of people were concerned just because, you know, with his health and uh, he's, uh, you know, getting physical uh, rehab. Yeah. And one thing I will tell you, that, you know, he is he is a very worthwhile partner that needs the help. And as a company, that's one of the things that we love to be able to deal with people that, you know, uh, are, are very appreciative because of the situation they're in. And Walter is a great guy and deserves it. We we are now getting all everything off his website directly, and then we now handle everything that he was handling. If there were any issues during that period where he went into the hospital, we're now going back and auditing, you know, to make sure everybody has been taken care of. But uh, Walter appreciates it. We appreciate you know the support. Of, of your listeners with our product and we're excited to help people. I can tell you that. Um, fantastic. Are you ready for a couple questions? Do you need I to talk love more about the love Okay, them. Charlotte, does it help with skin that bruises easily? It will over time. Now, the, there, there are other things I don't talk about as much. We talk about lines and wrinkles and the depth of lines and wrinkles. Let me take a minute to talk about other things that are in the product. We developed some custom peptides, and those custom peptides, number one, will take care of dark spots over time. I, I like to talk about the lines and wrinkles because we're talking yeah. seven weeks to 12 weeks. Dark spots take a little longer. Bruising, anytime that that, that dermis thickens back up, you will, mm -hmm. you will lessen that bruising over time. We also deal with photoaging. Uh, Mark, I, I've uh, I've got uh, skin that's kind of interesting in that I played tennis uh, in college for you know all the to actually for scholarship and for you know kind of worked my way through that way. And boy, I I was one that got terrible burn uh, of the skin, which really mm -hmm. causes your skin to look very aged. Oh, it does age it. Yeah, I'm I'm 67. I used to have lines and wrinkles that were pretty uh, stubborn. Mm. Using the product over time, it has completely taken away all the crow's feet. And it does it does alter and remove photo aging caused by, by sun. That's more of a six-month process. You know, I like for people to get a, a, a real realistic time frame of what amount of time it takes to reverse these is issues. And remember, we didn't get them overnight. Uh, in my case, I burnt my skin up for probably 10 years when I was, you know, not, we didn't, I was uh, old enough, I guess, back then that, you know, we didn't even know what a sun screen was. Uh, you know, we we allowed the skin to get way uh, overexposed to, to the sun. But it will deal with the bruising, but the bruising, problem requires that thickening of the 
of the collagen again. And, um, and certainly that will happen, but you have to be a little more patient because it does take enough time for the, for the thickness of the collagen to, to, uh, reconstruct. Um, uh, in, so I hope I answered that question for you. Um, that let's go to the next one. If you have another question. Um, you know, I should have been, uh, oh, here's what, will this help proud flesh? Now, this is something I'm just not familiar with. I mean, okay. it sounds familiar. I'm not uh, familiar no, with it. No, let me tell you, proud flesh is, is in, with animals. Mm -hmm. Proud flesh will be something where you've seen a horse mm -hmm. uh, that, that will maybe get tangled up in a barbed wire fence. And that, that wound will really grow and kind of look like a tumor. And that that would be called proud flesh. It is fantastic on animals, on domestic animals, hot spots. Uh, however, there I would I would tell you to buy the other product you you showed, which is the XL Derma. XL Derma is what you would really use on animals, or on proud flesh horses. Uh, that is a phenomenal product. So. Uh, any type of skin issue you would have with a cat, a dog, uh, a horse, any type of animal, uh, that would be the product you would would buy for that. Um, here's your next one. Does it help with rosacea? It does. Rosacea. I have had terrible rosacea. So, so whoever asked that question, I'm with you. I understand it. It will. It will. Uh, give you a relief with that real redness that comes with rosacea. Again, that's something you, you, you know, will take a little more time, uh, but that will, that will certainly uh, give you a relief from the rosacea. And of course the appearance that that causes uh, when you have it. Uh, which would be huge for a lot of people, a lot of folks that would be, especially men um, just because, you know, we're not going to go put on base and makeup to cover our rosacea. Right. Um, yeah, it's a, so that's a, that's a big one. Um, boy, I'm getting a lot of other questions, questions not related to that one. I see the, somebody asking me my favorite top five currencies. I'll hit that tomorrow. So I don't detract from our time here with. Yeah, uh, don't ask me that theory. question. Mark, <laughs> that's your question. Anytime you start talking about currency, leave me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Laugh lines, crow's feet. <laughs> hey, crow's feet is the number one people reason people buy our product. And you they know, buy the Restore, not the uh, Exloderma, right? I mean, the Restore no, would no, be the... Restore. Uh, that's restore. restore. for that product. You know, uh, let, 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 me, let me lay this out to people. Okay. Unfortunately, the, the, the part of the skin that has the least collagen on our face is right at our eyes. Anytime, you know, right here and all around the eye, the skin is very thin. And male or female, the thinnest skin is right here, you know, beside the eye. Unfortunately, what do we do? Uh, you know, when we're talking to anybody, we're looking them in the eye. And the first place you're going to see that aged effect of loss of collagen is going to be right there, you know, mm -hmm. by the eyes. So. The the it also it will deplete the quickest, but it it will it will also redevelop the quickest because a little bit of collagen around our eyes will will will, will move that skin very quickly. I, Mark, I, I like to explain it this way. It's like the outside the the epidermis is like a beautiful silk rug if we'll keep it moisturized, but the first the first bit of the padding, that 90% of the dermis, where we start losing the collagen, um, you'll see that 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 beautiful silk rug not be so beautiful because it's forming to you know the 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 uh, what's under it. And so as we can take, especially around the eyes, and and rebuild any amount of collagen, it makes the most difference the quickest. And so where we where we first start getting aged around the eyes with crow feet is the one that's going to come back the quickest. 
Um, spider veins on the nose. I assume that's kind of like a, almost a rosacea too, but spider veins gonna, on the nose. I'm going to tell you, you know, the best thing you can do there is take a look at, uh, there, there are some custom uh, compound pharmacy items that can help. Uh, there's also laser. Uh, but but with that issue, um, I'm going to tell you, that's really one you need to to move at one of those levels, either one of the compound uh, prescriptions that a dermatologist can give you or the quick way to just conquer that problem, not cheap, can be a few thousand dollars is by laser treatment to take care of it. Yeah, but then you know it's done. So, I mean, there's... Yeah. Yeah. Um, that that one's tough because it's that's a vein that's at the surface of the skin, and we're really working from the inside out, not the outside in. And so that is the one issue that I would tell you, look at one of those two remedies to solve it, and it will make a huge difference. All right. Another good question here. Uh, will it make your skin sensitive to the sun? You know, even while you're using, if you're not using it, just, you know, in general. So if somebody's going to put it on, do they need to know that before they go outside? It will make no difference to the sensitivity of the skin. Not, it won't help it, nor will it hurt it. Um, good to know. Now, would it be okay if they use the restore, wait a little while, and then put some, you know, facial sunscreen or sunblock on? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, we definitely would tell you, that the restore is made to work again at the dermis level. As soon as you're done with that, if you're going out and you need a sunscreen, let 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 the restore take a minute to two minutes to absorb, which that product is made to absorb and to drive those microparticles of our active ingredient right into the dermis, which it will do very quickly. It's also made to be a great moisturizer. So it becomes a great barrier for, for moisture, but definitely it is not a sunscreen. Within a couple minutes, if you're going out, put your sunscreen on top of it and protect your skin. Um, so like quite literally, only a few minutes to let it soak in, then go ahead and apply your sunscreen. You're literally ready to go after a couple minutes. Perfect. Um, all right. This is not one I'm familiar with either. See now, Purpura. Uh, I don't have any experience. I will tell you the next time you have me on, I'm going to take a note and I'm going to do, I'm going to get, I have a group of doctors behind me, uh, you know, behind me as in the company, the medical director, uh, dermatologist and other. So if you leave that up for a minute, I'm going to go to my group for counsel on that one. And I will be able to answer that question the next time I'm on. Okay, they are purple, brown, or red bruises that have irregular shape. Um, they're not a result of a bleeding disorder or lack of vitamin. Yeah, this is a very new one for me. So uh, I'm going to leave that up so that you can ask your group of doctors so that we can get Mr. Lee a uh, a proper answer within the That's next right. time you come to join us. And hopefully you'll come back about every other week or so, especially now that you can join on a computer so much easier. Oh, I love it. I, I I feel like I'm a part this way, uh, Mark. I, I appreciate it very much. Oh, it's and so much. We'll get to the answer. The one thing I I know for sure, the reason I have the group of docs behind me is if there's a question I don't know, I'm not gonna kind of I'm not gonna uh, sugarcoat something I don't know. I but we will uh we will find you the answer to that. Um, there's another one that you're probably gonna have to write down and get back to because it's another one I've not heard anything of. Saboric. So, Keratosis. Again, that uh, very seldom am I, am I stumped, but when I am, I am. So that one is another one. I will be back with my docs uh, in the company. They will come back, give me a good um, understanding of whether we affect it, you know, positively or whether we're just no effect. Uh, but I will have that answer for you. Um, see, well, boy, I don't even know what's better. I, this is not a product I'm familiar with. Rosacea QXP anti aging treatment for men or restore QXP, QXP is one of our trademarks, so that is a product that if it ah. has QXP in it, it is one of the products that we make. Um, uh, 
so uh you know so that that product uh in any time you were to see that uh that is a patent that that i uh, own the patent on oh so it's good product gotta be <laughs> i love it uh, and that is your restore product i mean this is one you discovered as a side effect as you were working on another uh product as we were working on the drug we have the number one drug in the chronic wound industry worldwide for being able to get closure for really severe chronic wounds. And it was out of that research that brought us into this. Uh, it's still kind of neat how that how, how that, that comes together. You're like, wait a minute, it doesn't necessarily do what we what we intended, but it does this other part great. So you just change your market and run with it. I love it. Yeah. And Mark, we were even a bit more fortunate because what we intended for it to do it did beautifully and is the number one product in that sector. But the side effect of it is a great thing, even though the side effect doesn't save lives where the main product does. This this one uh, has done so much for people's self-esteem, you know, people that oh, sure. need uh, they need to be able to, uh, you know, be able to look in the mirror and feel better about themselves. So. Uh, birthmarks, I can tell you that is that is a tough one. Uh, that has not something that we can as with a with a cosmetic can do anything to help. So uh, sorry about that. That's more of like I would say you go into the dermatologist, you look at either a compound pharmacy mm -hmm. a prescription to deal with or a laser treatment. Yeah, and I love how you're just so honest with folks. You're not like, oh, yeah, use it. It'll make a difference when it won't. You're very upfront with them, and I appreciate that one. Just like the next one, acne. I mean, uh, it's probably not, but you may know exactly what to do because you've been in the industry. Right. Well, let me tell you, we have a we have a new acne product that we've just gotten through clinicals that I'm going to put up on the website. Uh, but I do want to be honest with you, too, on the on – the, and we have, I think, the best over-the-counter – acne product that will be going up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow Walter to put it up on the site right away. And it's tremendous. But for acne, I want to tell you too, there's some new technology out that I could point you the direction where you take a DNA test. It's about, it's, it's about $400. Uh, it's not cheap, but it's not terribly expensive. And from that, a, a prescription product that can be... Uh, uh, provided to you based on exactly the cause of the acne, the DNA, and that has proven to be very effective. I don't make any money on it, but I can tell you anybody I can help with something like that, I'm happy to do it. So if you if you send an inquiry to the website about the DNA acne product, I'll be happy to give you a page to tell you exactly how to do it. Uh, I have a child that's had severe acne. I know how important it is to get that cleared up. Uh, and so you may want to start with our product, uh, the over-the-counter that I'll have on the website very soon. Uh, yeah. If that does, because that's also the much cheaper way to to deal with it. But if if uh, if you have severe acne and it's not moving as fast, or if you desire to do this other, I can highly recommend what I've read about the all the clinicals and spoken to the people that have used it. Uh, it. It's an alternative that you may want to think about. So that's, let's call that the DNA approach. If you want that, I will write you a paper and send it to you. If you'll just give me an inquiry and I'll tell you exactly how to go about it. Now with the acne product, um, do you have a timeline? Can you come on? Can you message me when it's live and I'll bring you in so that you can let folks know if it's going to be a week or two weeks or whatever? I will, I will have that on his site within four weeks. We're, we're four finished weeks. with the clinicals. We're finished with everything with it. Acne is another one of those areas that I have a high level of concern about. So, um, so Mark, give me four weeks and I'll have it on there. And in the meantime, if somebody is listening that wants to know about the other approach again, uh, anytime there's medical advancements like this, I'm happy to share them, whether they're ours or not ours. So uh, I'm happy to help these people. Which is great. A lot of people worried. Uh, do they need to worry about toxins, anything unnatural, anything scary, any products? I'm going to tell you, if you look at all of our ingredients, uh, you know, peptides, short chain amino acids, 
that are very positive. There's nothing in our product. Everything is medical grade. That's not usual in, in you know, these types of products. But we're a medical company, and uh, the ingredient list is pristine. Everything is made in the U.S. We don't buy any ingredients, any ingredients that aren't made in the U.S. Everything is is made in our FDA clean rooms uh, right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we do not test on animals, which for uh, for a lot of cosmetic products, that is that is you know something that I'm concerned about. Just simply, there's no regulation that you need to, and therefore we don't. Uh, and and we don't use anything that's on the the bad list as far as ingredients. If you read through our ingredient list, you'll see that we really go out of our way to have as natural products as we can have. Uh, and and again, e even all the active ingredients, very safe. Awesome. Um, I need to wrap you there until the next time. I've seen a couple of questions I need to get to to answer for a few folks. Uh, I do want to thank you for taking your time. I even kept you longer than I thought I would keep you. But uh, thank you for taking time. I know you know it's been tough getting you scheduled back forth. Walter, he gets the phone, doesn't get to the phone. So it's Great that you came and joined us directly. Hey, Mark, thank you so much. Thanks for what you're doing. Uh, you you have the best show out there, and I love being a part of it. Thanks for letting me. I appreciate you, Greg. Thank, thank you, you, and you. just reach out. We'll go ahead and get you like two weeks from now. We'll have you right back. Okay, thank you, sir. Talk to you. Thanks. All right, take care. Uh, guys, I saw some more questions I did not want to leave um, hanging that a couple of you guys had. Um, one, Robin, can I tell you how many people have told me exactly that same thing? How many, how many people that identify as uh gay, whatever that have told me what they're doing is taking all the progress from the last 10, 20, whatever years and, and throwing it away with their extreme agenda. So, uh, Robin, all I can say is, um, I've had a number of people point that out and, uh, couldn't agree with you more. All right. Let's get to uh, Tracy. Uh, yes, and I meant to mention that earlier. Do you have any contacts in Northern Iraq? I've heard new small category notes may be out. I am being told that the small category notes are not out, but that they now have widespread distribution of the cut sheets showing what to expect and what they look like. I am continuing. They are being kept under wraps. Uh, with employees being threatened not to share pictures. Somebody's going to crack, I hope, and I get a picture. I do not want to get anybody in trouble. Uh, but I am hearing that there are more cut sheets, especially in the Kurdish and northern Iraqi regions, showing what they are and what to expect and their security features. So I very much feel like they're coming, even if they are not in distribution yet. Now, I am told that those same cut sheets include the old small denomination bills. And guys, I've showed these many, many, many times. I say that. Let me find them again in here. Um, I have shared these before. These are some of the older. They're crisp. They're, they're, they're you know, pristine. There's a 500. Um, this one is a 50. I'm being told that they also have a cut sheet that shows these. I believe there will be a temporary time period where they will be accepting because they still have some really cool security features inside of these bills as well, that they will be using those as well um, while they get bills rolled out throughout their um, economy. Uh, so I'm glad, glad, Tracy, glad you put that one in there because I forgot completely to mention that. Even had it in my notes and missed it, Tracy. Thank you. <laughs> my only bird flu I get from, comes from too much One o turkey 101. Uh, Mike Pierce, sorry I did not get to ask that question. Um, all right, guys. And then somebody did, uh, if you're still here, my five favorite currencies right now. Um, I'm going to put Iraqi dinar first. I'm going to put Vietnamese dong second. Probably Indonesia. Then I would probably go Brazil. Uh, excuse me, not Brazil, Venezuela. And then Zimbabwe. If I got to pick my top five, the reason I put them that way. And that order is because of the ones that I have the greatest, highest, I mean, uh, belief structure in going to happen. Uh, I believe they're all going to go, but there could be a 
delay. If something goes wrong, Venezuela could delay. If there's something goes wrong, maybe a Zim could delay. But I feel very confident that I will see my Dinar at Dong and then Nija go no matter what. So if I had to pick, I'm going to do that order. I'm going to go Dinar, Dong, um, Indonesia. Then I'm going to go Venezuela and then Zim. And they're all close together. They are. It's not like there's a massive drop off between one or the other. It's just where I feel the most confident and warm fuzzies about. Uh, CMKX, I have a bunch. We just, I'm telling you, since uh, last week, we just have not received any new news. And the, the news last week was that they had updated fines and penalties again. I'm being told they're updating them twice a month right now, every two weeks, roughly. They are updating the fines and penalties so that they're prepared to deliver. And there were rumors that we could have seen deliveries as early as late last week, but we've not seen them yet. And it, other than that, it's been quiet on the CMKX front. Uh, yeah, you're talking about the Iranian real. Uh, CJ, it's very much expected, but you've got Iran right now with uh, all kinds of war drums. It could be for show. Uh, yeah, otherwise I would put it up there. I definitely put the Iranian Real in my top 10. All right. Just wanted to get that one done. I do not believe there's any kind of coupon code that I know of, Coop, but I will ask Greg to see. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let me call it a night and I get to it. Yeah, and it's Indonesian rupiah, not rupee. Uh, just so that you make certain you get the right one. One's from India, one's from Indonesia. All right, guys, now I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Richard, go dog. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Hopefully, we will have some great news. We do expect the return of Andy Sheckman. Could not be a more opportune time with the metals market finally digging in and taking off. All right, guys, now I'm going to dip out of here. And sorry for forgetting those things early. See you guys. <laughs>